Hey there, we're going to uh, put together our stages of mitosis notes. Um, and then I'm going to uh, fill out the notes for you, with you. So the first thing I did is I just cut them apart um, into the three pieces. And now what I need to do is um, tape it together. Um, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start with the first one. So I know S phase is first, right? Interphase. And then prophase is the first step to mitosis. Um, so I'm going to line these up as well as I can get it. I know it's going to bug me if I can't line it up just right. And then I'm going to grab a piece of tape. There we go. Um, I'm going to grab a smaller piece of tape. I kind of grabbed a little bit too much personally. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of put it right, eh, right there. Um, that's just kind of to hold it together. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and I'm just going to really tape the back. There we go. Because I want to be able to write on the front and you can't really write if there's a bunch of tape in the way. So there we go. So I got the back. And now I can still write and draw on my cell. I'm going to add just a little, little small piece over here. Right, right there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and then I need to get the second one lined up. So I'm going to kind of set it up right there. Grab another small piece of tape right here. And I'll add another small piece over here because I know I'm going to want one. And then I'm going to flip it over again. Yeah, perfect. And now I can tape the second and third pieces together. Oh, that was a little crooked. All right. Uh, just a little more because I got a little crooked. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now that I have my notes together, um, I can actually start to fill them in. Um, so if you need to um, pause this video, you are going to need a red and a blue colored pencil. So please make sure you have that before um, you get going. So if you need to pause it, that's fine. All right. So we're going to start with interface. And so before interface, uh, sorry, before S phase, the DNA is condensed in the form of chromatin. So DNA is condensed in the form of chromatin. So we're talking about before S phase. So that would be G1, right? And we said G1 is when the cell is just hanging out, doing its regular everyday activities. And that is when the DNA is called chromatin. There um, is only one chromatid per chromosome, right? Because DNA replication has not happened yet, right? Before S phase. So there's only one chromatid per chromosome. So what I'm going to do is these kind of lighter ones, I'm going to color red. So red for these two. And then blue for these other two. So this is my DNA, All right? So I've got four chromosomes. Now we know humans really have um, 46 chromosomes, but that would be way too many for us to fit and color in here. So we're just gonna go with four. Um, and then I wanna label um, a couple things just to make sure we all know what it is we're looking at. So this guy right here, nucleolus and then we've got the nucleus and then we've got our centrioles right and then you've got the entire cell so this is our cell membrane there we go um, 
So perfect, now we've labeled everything. So interphase, before the S phase, DNA is condensed. It's called chromatin. There's only one chromatid available because right replication has not happened yet. After S phase, DNA is condensed in the form of chromatin. Oh, my tape's in the way. There are two chromatids per chromosome. And I can also say there are now two centrosomes. So what do we mean by that? So back before S phase, right, we had just one chromatid, right, just one chromatid for a chromosome. Now we have two chromatids for the chromosome. So replication has occurred, right? It's after S phase. So we have now replicated our DNA and we see that typical X shaped chromosome that you might be more familiar with. So all four of our chromosomes for this cell have been replicated. Go. And there are now two um, centrosomes, right? Our centrioles, centrosomes, right? There's two of them now because the, even they were replicated. Um, we call this structure, right? It's a chromosome, but it's also sister chromatids sister chromatids so it's one chromosome with sister chromatids because dna replication has occurred so now we're leaving interface we're headed into um, cell division right mitosis so starting with prophase DNA has condensed from the loose chromatin form into the um, packaged or packed up form of a chromosome and the nucleus begins to divide. So before, right, our chromosomes, they were all wiggly, just kind of crossing, like they were just a eh, little, they were wiggly. I think that's a good term for it. But now they are tightly packaged into our actual chromosomes. And I gotta keep coloring them so I can keep track of what's happening um, with my chromosomes. And then get my second one here. There we go. Now I did not color this center spot right here, but I'm gonna use my black pen, I'm gonna color it in. This is my centromere. The centromere helps um, to move the chromosomes, and it's also going to be the spot where the sister chromatids split um, as the centrioles start to pull them apart. So I can see back from interphase, right, my nucleus is completely solid. Now here in prophase, it's, you know, a dotted line. It's starting to dissolve. My centrioles are starting to move to opposite ends of the cell. 
so that they can begin to pull apart my chromosomes. So I'm going to head into um, metaphase, my chromosomes are going to line up at the middle of the cell, right, or the, um, ah, getting ahead of myself, the metaphase plate. Right, it's kind of this imaginary line right down the middle where the chromosomes will line up. So, right, do you notice that they're now in a single file line? All right, and so here's my, I'm just gonna go ahead and color the whole thing blue since I pointed out the centromere earlier. Now notice these chromosomes lined up completely random. Right, they're blue, red, blue, red. No one told them to line up that way though. It was just random. But as the chromosomes went from being, you know, not lined up to being lined up, our centrioles also moved to opposite ends of the poles. And now this little fibery stuff is going to attach right at each of these centromeres and that's what's going to actually pull the sister chromatids apart. These are called spindle fibers. So the centrioles made the spindle fibers, which attach to the centromeres, which is what's holding the sister chromatids together. Then after metaphase, we have anaphase. In anaphase, our sister chromatids are pulled apart by the spindle fibers and centrosomes. Right, the, cent the centrioles, centrosome, same thing. So where we had you know, a single chromosome made up of two sister chromatids, we are now back to a single chromatid. I picked up the red one first, so I'll color all the red ones. So this used to be a chromosome with two sister chromatids. They were now pulled apart. So they are once again, just a single chromatid. And that spindle fiber is gonna get shorter and shorter in order to pull apart these chromatids to opposite ends of the cell so that each daughter cell has a copy of the DNA. There we go. So they're gonna start pulling apart and we can even see right all the cells up until now have been this nice kind of perfect circle but here in anaphase right it's more like egg shaped it's it's like an oval because the spindle fibers and the centrioles are pulling that cell membrane and elongating the cell then we get to telophase where a new Nucleus begins to form, a new nuclei um, begin to form. The DNA is going to begin to loosen up again. Um, back into the chromatin form, right? It's kind of, it's all loose again. And then the cell membrane and cytoplasm begin to pinch apart, right? And that pinching we said is called a cleavage furrow. 
we also start to get the nucleus to reform around our DNA. So eventually cytokinesis, right, which is after mitosis, right? We're done with mitosis. Telophase is the last stage of mitosis. Then we have cytokinesis where this cleavage furrow will eventually reach the center and we will end up with two identical daughter cells. Each of them will have a copy of the DNA from the original cell. So chromosome one, two, three, and four, chromosome one, two, three, and four in the other cell. So there's no picture for cytokinesis, but we know it's occurring when the two daughter cells um, pinch completely apart. So we need to um, put this into our notebook. So the way I'm going to fold my notes, I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to fold it just under halfway. I think right here will work. Yeah. So about right here so I can still see all of interface. So I'm just going to fold it over and then I'm going to fold it up again just under where the title is, stage of my, stages of mitosis. And so I can just unfold it and see all my notes. Okay, so now that I folded it up, I'm gonna go to my notebook. This is going on page 65. I'm gonna turn my notebook sideways and then it fits perfectly into my notebook. Um, you can tape or glue it down, whatever makes you happy. I'm gonna tape mine because I feel like it. There, there, and then I'm even going to put probably a little bit of tape along here as well, just to keep it secure. So there we go. And now I have my stages of mitosis secured into my notebook. Very nice. Um, that is it for our stages of mitosis notes. If you have any questions about um, this assignment, please let me know.